हेलो उर्फी सर उर्फी सर हेलो उर्फी सर हेलो उर्फी सर सर आवाज जात नहीं का हेलो 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 सर आवाज तो हेलो हेलो ज्योति पाटिल मैडम हेलो हेलो हाँ सर गणेश आवाज यूट्यूब लिंक तैयार सर तैयार है सर तैयार ठीक है ओके सर 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 आवाज 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 तू दे तू दे तू मैं दे हेलो 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 प्रोफेसर बोला कि हाँ हाँ देते हैं तू पाठ उन्हें एक दो हाँ तू रिकॉर्डिंग ला नहीं मला होस्ट करा मला होस्ट करा मला रिकॉर्डिंग कर करता है तू हाँ रिकॉर्डिंग करना मजे थे मला ते हेडफोन आने दे तो दियो कर हेलो शुरुआत करा जाए उधर फक्त एक पांच सेकंड मला संग रिकॉर्ड चल करें लिंक सगलेशन मैडम मराठी पत्र 
गणेश सर आवाज येते माझा हॅलो त्यामध्ये मग फक्त हे तीन आवाज चेक करा माझा हॅलो आवाज येते माझा प्रियांका मॅडम प्रियांका उजरी मॅडम भरपूरच आवाज आलाय मे बी गणेश पाटील सर
कुछ गणेश पाटिल स्टार्ट करा स्टार्ट शुरू करू एम आय ऑडिबल ऑडिबल सर बस ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर रंजित रंजित पाटिल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड आई एम वेरी मच हैप्पी टू होस्ट दिस इवेंट फ्रेंड्स इट इज इन डीड ए ग्रेट प्लेजर एंड ऑनर फॉर मी टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वन डे नैशनल वेबिनार ऑन इम्पॉसिबिलिटी वाया मैथमेटिक्स एंड एप्लीकेशन एंड करियर इन मैथमेटिक्स इन असोसिशन विथ श्री शाहू छत्रपति शिक्षण संस्था श्री शाहजी छत्रपति महाविद्यालय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड आई क्यू एस सी इट इज माई प्रिविलेज एंड ऑनर टू शेयर दिस डिजिटल प्लैटफॉर्म विथ ग्रेट स्कॉलर लाइक यू एट दी आउटसेट आई टेक दिस ऑपॉर्चुनिटी टू थैंक एंड वेलकम की नोट स्पीकर द मैन ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड द इस्टिमेट स्टीम्ड पर्सनैलिटी सॉरी स्टीम्ड पर्सनैलिटी प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर बी एन वाफारे आई ऑल्सो वेलकम the well known figure and intellectual figure dr k d kuche in this national webinar i am very glad to have our principal dr r k shane divan in this webinar i am delighted to welcome the secretary respecter sri vijay bapu bondre and chairman sri manchingrao dada bondre of sri shahu shikshan sanstha i also welcome dear dr n s jadhav iqc coordinator and mrs P. S. Kulkarni, Science Wing Coordinator. Big thanks to Sri Ravindra Bosle, Registrar, and Sri Manish Bosle, Office Superintendent. Last but least, uh, sorry, last but not least, 
i welcome all the professors teachers research scholars and student from different colleges and universities once again wholeheartedly i welcome you all my dear friends according to proclus a famous mathematician whatever there is number there is a beauty to elaborate this concept in a in a smart way we have organized this webinar to explore the history of mathematics from perspective of creative tension between common sense and impossible as a speaker will discover or invent new concepts that have marked mathematical progress the speakers will put this creation into broader context in related impossibility maths graduates are usually considered the smartest of the lot of degree holder the reason behind that is that l is that ability to solve numerical problems requires a lot of brain work and thus maths graduates are insured this webinar this webinar could helps you choose a right course for your self you so you are clear with your career path this is the motto of this webinar now it's time to introduce our keynote speaker the center of attraction of this webinar dr b n wafare and to do this i call dr p p jadhav madam dr p p jadhav madam yes uh, good afternoon to one and all present distinguished participant faculty members and my dear student friends i am dr mrs priyanka pravin jadhav it's my great pleasure to introduce our today's speaker who is going to talk about the impossibilities via mathematical applications uh, honorable guest professor dr b n wafare sir presently working as professor in department of mathematics savitribai phule pune university pune our keynote speaker dr b n wafare sir has 32 year of teaching experience his research area of interest are algebra lattice theory and graph theory metroid theory he has guided element phd students and three mphil student he has completed three research project project of worth rupees 3 lakh each our speaker has published more than 70 his research article and five books also he had been invite, uh, invited in 20 national and international conferences as a speaker he had told uh, many administrative uh, work in pune university like member of management council member of board studies chairman of board studies member of faculty of science etc such a dynamic personality uh, is with us as a speaker welcome sir thank you madam thank you thank sir you. i am happy to call the expert talk man of knowledge and experience dr b n wafare to address the participants please welcome dr b n wafare please welcome dr b n wafare sir sir i am not correct ahe ti hello am i audible ah, yes sir yeah good morning to all of you i have really a great pleasure uh, to talk in this particular webinar and i am uh, thankful to jadhav madam for uh, for my introduction uh, that way i am very much familiar with uh, uh, shivaji university uh, many uh, many times i have visited uh, this university uh, of course for several reasons for giving lectures or maybe or uh, uh, some official work for many reasons 
uh, I'm also thankful to Ranjit Patil sir who took efforts to uh, to uh, arrange this lecture. Uh, and uh, I, I hope that Miss uh, due to this pandemic situation, it's not <laughs> possible to directly interact with you. However, uh, uh, share yeah, so however, uh, at least uh, on the online mode, uh, we can uh, we can uh, discuss the things. It was the story of uh, long back, uh, I think uh, the topic which I have selected today is, uh, <clears throat> is a topic uh, which on uh, which I taught in, uh, with, in Shivaji University long back, maybe before 15 years. Uh, the same topic I have, uh, a similar topic you may say I have selected for this uh, webinar. Uh, I hope that uh, all of you will enjoy. It's very elementary, but um, it gives us a kind of insight to, to the audience about mathematics and uh, what are the difficulties in mathematics, how to overcome those difficulties. Uh, these things uh, we will, um, uh, these things we will certainly, uh, I will try to explain. And I hope that uh, uh, you, will, uh, you will enjoy it. Um, and I will not make uh, use of any uh, uh, higher level type of mathematics, but uh, I will certainly uh, always remain with uh, whatever is known to you up to 12th standard. And uh, then afterwards, uh, uh, whatever you, you may have learned. So uh, looking at the audience of the type of uh, uh, graduate uh, students uh, of mathematics. Uh, um, this uh, topic I have selected. There is one more reason while selecting such type of uh, topic and <clears throat> yeah, one more reason. The re the basic reason behind this is that uh, before fifteen years, uh, I just uh, went to some medical college for some. Uh, exam work. And there one medical fact, uh, my, my, uh, medical um, doctor, MBBS, uh, MBBS student, okay. Uh, he, uh, he saw me and uh, uh, knowing that I am a person of uh, mathematics, uh, then he asked me a query about mathematics. <clears throat> the query was that, uh, uh, he said that we, we know all about uh, um, real numbers or something like that, okay? So whenever we, we are in a market or uh, in any place, uh, we can purchase, say, 12 bananas or, uh, um, uh, or three bananas, or one may say one and a half kg rice one can purchase, okay? So this half kg, uh, 12, 3, and these uh, numbers, uh, yeah, well, we can play with that. But it is not uh, possible to think of, even to think of, say, uh, you, are, uh, you are very much familiar with uh, this um, complex number i, okay? And uh, he, say, he asked me that, what about this i? For example, I wanted to have i, kilogram of rice. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, he said that I don't understand and uh, you please uh, try to uh, explain uh, about, uh, about that. So that was the uh, query which was asked and at that time I was just stopped and uh, I don't know uh, what, what type of answer should I give to that uh, person and uh, that was that kind of difficulty was there. So 
then uh, then I, I i just came to home and uh, started to think over uh, this kind of situation how to how to satisfy a person like this about mathematics <clears throat> so that is the thing which uh, uh, which was uh, uh, on which i i thought over and then i have gone through several books and then um, then i think that as far as our curricula mathematics curriculum is concerned and uh, regarding uh, the way which in which we are learning mathematics the way our teachers are teaching mathematics to the students and the the same uh, through the same machinery i also came uh, out of that and uh, 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 if i am unable to uh, give the answer of uh, this person then uh, uh, then there is something something goes wrong somewhere or some kind of way uh, so some kind the way in which we are teaching the way in which we are learning okay and uh, those things uh, needs to be uh, somewhat modified <clears throat> so for this purpose we will just start with uh, uh, some uh, number system firstly and then uh, slowly we will proceed further uh, will you please uh, give me uh, i would like to share the my screen so uh, can you make me host Uh, our co-host, uh, who I wanted to share the screen, uh, my screen. So, uh, please make the, me the host. Yes. You can share, sir. Uh, yeah. The, there are two names. No, one is Balu Afare, and the other is Ala uh, Sahib Afare. So, to Balu Afare, and so you make the. Uh, post so that I can screen. Uh, I can um, show my screen. And, uh, sir, you can show. Yes. You can share, sir. Yeah. Okay. So. so is this screen visible to you all of you hi yes sir visible sir yeah yeah fine fine so uh, so the uh, um, uh, we will just uh, come uh, towards the uh, our uh, usual system set of uh, natural numbers so we have some set of natural numbers and uh, and then uh, uh, mr story started from the set, uh, set of natural numbers isn't it and how what type of examples are we giving to the students while understanding the natural numbers say 1 2 3 and so on so it is just the way of counting counting the persons or uh, counting the goats or uh, or anything uh, counting bananas isn't it so this kind of examples we were giving and that was the uh, from there the students start learning okay but then whenever we wanted to talk about the half of the thing so so the first difficulty you will uh, you will come to know is regarding the uh, regarding the means uh, if you are counting the persons okay with the help of uh, natural numbers then the first difficulty which arises is that uh, if your set is empty if there is nothing no person is there in a particular room so in that situation what to do okay so in that situation we 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 are adding zero to that so uh, then that, that was the difficulty which 
we have the, uh, which we, we, we can overcome with the help of adding geo. Okay. And then talking about the half, half of a person, it's difficult to understand. Okay. The basic thing is that half of the person means we are we are considering these numbers as number of heads, number of persons, isn't it? That kind of model is kept in front of you while learning. And then whenever we are talking about half of the person, then that is, uh, that is, that is becoming uh, difficult to understand the students, okay? So, we need to mod, uh, we need to go uh, consider some other type of example, other type of mathematical model, which will be somewhat more general than this particular uh, 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 this particular example. Okay, so you can think of uh, think of uh, one half. Okay, so while doing half of this, you can take a braid. Okay, and then make the half, you can do that. One can make the one fourth part of that. Or to understand it very, very specifically, you can think of a, uh, you can think of uh, just like a thread, you take it from this point to this point. Okay, and then uh, uh, you can uh, think of, uh, yeah, this is a thread. And then you can just, uh, just uh, connect it and then you can think of half part of this. So you may say that this is uh, this is the half part of it, okay? And then you can also th that thread you can uh, fold it uh, uh, once, and then if you fold it in a such a way that uh, uh, yeah, this this will be there, it will be three folded, okay? Then the corresponding length will be one for one third, okay? So one half, one third, such type of numbers will come into picture, okay? So for this purpose, you can have, uh, you can divide by something. Okay? So, so you can think of this P divided by two, such type of numbers. Okay? So, uh, and that you can do. Okay? So once you, are, you have the, uh, you, you got some idea of adding P, okay? So many folds you wanted to do. Okay? So then, then you can uh, do it as well. This and then you can think of this P and Q both are uh, integers, okay? And then uh, Q is non-zero integers, okay? So P and Q are integers. So P, Q, both belong to a set of natural numbers, okay? And uh, then uh, you can think of that, okay? So, but this P may be equal to zero. So this is equal to zero. And then you can also think of plus or minus. So this uh, uh, this this thing plus or minus uh, says something uh, which is uh, uh, which makes the sense. So whenever we are going towards the plus and minus, that means uh, you have something. So now you can think of a line. Okay. So you can think of a line. And then you take some point here, okay, and call it start to call it zero, okay. And then you take another point, whatsoever it may be, you can start to call it one, okay. And then these uh, rational numbers will come into the picture, okay. So two and three and so on, okay. And then so this model is something like uh, uh, on a straight line, uh, you may think of on the negative side and this type. So one may start to travel from zero to one, okay? And so, uh, so how much distance you have traveled and in which direction? So from zero to one, you say that this is a positive, positive side and this is the negative side. Okay? So you have some kind of sense, go forward, just like going forward or back. Okay. So if your target is reaching to Kolhapur, okay, then uh, whether I'm going forward direction or going backward direction, 
Okay. So you may be at any place and then you can think of uh, this thing. So sometimes you may say that the total, some total distance to Kolhapur is something like that. And uh, then uh, you can have, uh, you may have traveled half of that distance. Okay. So half of the distance or one third distance, okay. Uh, one third of that distance and so on. So this way, uh, this way it becomes very easy. But while going to Kolhapur, some for some purpose, if you are uh, you, you you are going in the backward direction, maybe here you are going towards backward direction for some reason or other. That means the that corresponding number will be negative number. Okay, so uh, you are going in the negative direction. Okay, so this way, this kind of model you can think of, okay? So what is happening, really speaking? Just keeping in my uh, in our mind the number of objects, number of particular type of objects or number of persons or something like that. Just throw away that model while you are thinking of the model of, uh, model of rational number. You think of such a, such a line and then you can make the half part of it. And uh, it's better to uh, think of the positive side, negative side, okay? And then that you can talk in terms of the distance, how much distance we have traveled in the forward direction or that direction. That, that type of uh, model you can keep in front of you. Okay, that's fine. But then, uh, so this, uh, in this situation, then all such type of rational numbers you can pick up, okay? So, otherwise it was not possible. If you think, if you restrict your thinking towards a particular type of model, then it is not possible to, uh, to uh, understand. It's impossible to understand as far as those examples are concerned, those models are concerned. You have to come out of that. Okay. So you, you, for a while, you forget about that example and you change your model. Okay. So this type of model you can think of for uh, the uh, rational numbers. Okay. So this is the, uh, this is the thing which you can have. So so that you can then uh, uh, then you can think of uh, half kg of rice. Okay? So half kg means uh, if, uh, if you have half kg of rice, then if it is with you, okay, then you can think of uh, yeah, so half kg of rice. You can think of that, and this number will indicate this point will indicate okay that particular thing. Otherwise, if you are in the negative side, that means you have borrowed half kg of rice on one okay so that way also you can think of this so you can uh, uh, you can uh, have such type of thing and at the same time keep in mind that what is happening is that not only yes, that yes yes hello hello yes 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 hello uh, yeah, so uh, even in between, if you have some uh, some type of uh, kind of question, then you please uh, ask me, no? I will be happy to answer those questions. Right. So you can think of the positive side and negative side, and then, uh, uh, so this plus and minus. So that is, that gives you, uh, in terms of this, either forward direction or backward direction, that you can uh, think of uh, this regarding. This is, this says, says something like a sense. You say that plus or minus means it, it gives us a sense, okay, whether positive sense or negative sense. Okay, so uh, this kind of attachment is there, and not only that. See what happens as far as the natural numbers are concerned. You can add, isn't it? You can add the things. Okay, five persons plus six persons. Okay, you can add. So this addition is there. Okay. However. The uh, subtraction is not possible always as far as this set is concerned. Okay, so you cannot subtract. Say uh, if uh, uh, if you have five um, is there and then if you start to subtract in six. Okay, then that's not possible. Okay, but however, if you come towards this um, 
means that if you add this uh, plus or minus, then you will come to know these integers. Okay, set of integers. So sense is there, positive side or negative side. Okay, so that kind of sense you can put and then positive integers, negative integers, and then you can have the subtraction. You can have multiplication also. So what happens? Addition of numbers, multiplication of numbers. This kind of operations will certainly match towards our example. Means if five persons are there, then five times six, you can think of that. So five, 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 six times. So five into six, oh, that really matches. So uh, uh, five into six is uh, uh, 30, okay? So 30, so all together there will be 30 uh, persons. So addition, multiplication, subtraction, these algebraic operations. So J together with this addition, uh, you may say subtraction and then multiplication, this becomes an algebraic system and that will directly match, uh, uh, at least match if we have such type of sense is there, forward, backward, okay? This example, you think of this, then uh, this will be meaningful, okay? And furthermore, the important thing which we would like to say is that as far as these natural numbers and J are concerned, this J is the, what have, you have enlarged. You have enlarged this set in this way. Okay. That enlarging and here whatever the addition is there in natural numbers, that operation is also same. Means if you restrict to natural numbers, then this addition that addition will, will be one and the same. So what, uh, what is that we did here is that you, we have expanded the system. We have expanded the machinery. Uh, okay, so, so we have this. So uh, we have expanded the system. So, Extension of the system, you just think like that. Okay? So this machinery, which we are extending uh, from these natural numbers to integers, and then from integers, you are extending it to rational numbers. So, uh, the, uh, yeah, so from here to here, you are extending it. So this, uh, this set uh, is called the set of uh, integer, uh, rational numbers. So from here to here and from here to here, you can extend it. So this is a system, okay? Algebraic system. This algebraic systems we are extending for this, our purposes, okay? And uh, then the set of uh, uh, the rational numbers will come into the picture and then every, uh, it, it will become very easy. Uh, easy to understand and easy to pictureize and easy to use everything will be there. Okay? So with the help of uh, this algebraic systems and then that will be very much useful to you while considering either you are traveling then in multiples, uh, multiplication, subtraction, addition, everything you can do it. Okay? So it's a very uh, a nice example of rational numbers. Okay? Yeah, so here, the, uh, here, something is impossible as far as this set is concerned. Something is impossible. <laughs> and but then to avoid that impossibility, to avoid that uh, difficulty, we are, uh, we are extending our machinery. Okay? So we have extended to this. So here the subtraction is possible. Okay? And then from here, Making a half part of it is not possible here. Okay, so it, it means uh, every time it is not possible. Okay, yes. so that you can think of this, and then uh, uh, yeah, uh, to make the half part of uh, means uh, that is not possible here. Okay, that is impossible here. So you can extend that model. You can extend this machinery to this machinery. Okay, and here the addition, multiplication. Okay, everything is possible. And uh, so that thing you can do here. So this becomes the set of rational numbers and that also you can visualize with the, with the picture. <coughs> and uh, you can apply it also. 
So applications are also important for, for what purpose we are doing this. Okay. So that reason we, we need to understand uh, every time. Okay, yeah, so that, that this is also fine. Okay. And uh, keep in mind that you are extending the machinery. Okay. Addition, same. Same type of thing you are just extending. We are, you are not disturbing the original system. Original addition, multiplication, whatever it is there, that you are not disturbing, you are extending. Okay? So, whenever you have the same members from natural numbers, then here, here you will get the say, if addition is here, that addition will be like that. Okay? So, that way you are extending it. So, uh, uh, yeah, so the, this way we are coming towards the rational numbers and then uh, in uh, rational numbers, very, very interesting things are happening. This half, one third and so on. So uh, you, may, uh, um, uh, yeah, you may point out those, all those points, just try to give um, uh, rational numbers to this and then corresponding points you can assign, okay? By just looking at the distance and whether you are positive side or the negative side and then try to fill up those uh, try to give the nomenclature to the points on such type of straight line. Okay, so once that is done, then you may think for a while that uh, this is the situation. And then um, whether there are some points with which are remaining. Okay, so that uh, uh, that thing probably you may uh, uh, think of this. Uh, you will find that uh, because of these rational numbers and uh, um, uh, yeah, you can you can make equal parts no? so if you have such type of 0, 1 is there and then you can make equal parts as you want okay? so as many as that. that's very practically true and uh, that thing is possible so uh, you can divide by n and n you can take as large as possible Okay, so you will find that even if you have uh, you know, any two points something like b and c is there if uh, BC is there, then this is indicated by rational number, this is indicated by rational number, then whether there will be a gap here, whether there will be a, uh, at least one rational here, whatsoever it may be. You take any two points, any two points you take uh, on the real line which are nomenclature by rational numbers, then among those two points, whether there is at least one uh, rational number or not, means whether there is a gap or not. And you find that this is not possible. Okay, so why that is happening? Because if you take BC, then um, the the original uh, original uh, original thing is there. Then you can make it still further. Uh, you, you can you can see it's big point. <laughs> big point is also a rational number. If this is rational. This is rational. Then you will come to know that this is mid point is also a rational because we are just dividing by two. Okay, whatever this uh, distance is. Okay. Then you are dividing by two, you'll get a rational number, okay? and that will be indicated by this. So between any two points, okay, between any two points which are indicated here on by, uh, by rational numbers, there is a rational number in between them. Okay, so here one more thing which ordering is also the picture, and in between uh, between any two rational numbers, in between there is also a rational. Number. There is at least one rational number. The interesting thing is that this, uh, yeah, so this you can do with the help of, uh, uh, because of this uh, fundamental uh, theorem of arithmetic, uh, you can have, you can divide it into as many parts as you can, okay? And uh, then, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. So now you can think of, uh, uh, considering this, uh, yeah, so you take BC and then you can find out uh, uh, the in between point between them. So, between any two points, there exists at least one point. Okay? Between any two points, okay, there exists at least one point which is, uh, in, uh, which is, uh, yeah, this is just a statement which is nomenclature by rational. But that is equivalent to say that first we have to, okay between two points there is one okay this is my statement but this this statement is equivalent to saying that between any two points there are at least two points because I can think of the midpoint of this okay <laughs> midpoint of this okay. 
So that also you can think of. So between any two points, at least two points are there. This is also a step. Okay. Between any two points, at least three points are there. Okay, and so on. You can think of this. Okay, and uh, uh, between any two points, there are uh, it's a infinite many points. Okay? So that also you can think. All these statements are equivalent to each other. Okay, that that you can. So this, this is because of this uh, and and uh, that is possible in rational. However, in rational also we are not satisfied. Okay? Why? In some situations you will get a point. Uh, you will get a point which is not a, uh, uh, which is not a, uh, uh, which hasn't got the nomenclature by rational. So that kind of difficulty will come in. In other words, if you have traveled a particular type of distance which you cannot measure with the help of rational, okay, so that uh, you may have may reach at the such a point that uh, that distance you cannot uh, measure by rational. What is what is this? Uh, for example, what is this uh, situation? Yeah. So you will uh, you will come to know. Yeah. This. Uh, so just uh, try to understand it. Uh, that uh, you just look at this. Uh, Rectangles. Okay, this is a rectangle. This length is one. This length is one. And this is the Okay, and now think of uh, think, so, so, suppose that this is zero. Okay? This on the straight line we are doing this. Okay, this is the okay? so um, so this distance is there, and then this zero. This is one. Okay, the line. Okay, and then you just think of this triangle and look at this triangle. What is this triangle? The length of this uh, line segment, if you start to think of, then we know that it is uh, by Pythagoras theorem, it is uh, one, a square root of two. Okay, so that uh, that number we come somewhere here, and uh, we don't know. Uh, yeah, so if you start from here and try to look at this distance, uh, travel this distance, then that part can be. We come here, okay, and that is nothing but root two. And this root two is not a rational. Okay, and the, the proof is very simple. All of you know the proof that root two is not a rational number. Means uh, assuming that it is a rational number which is of the type p divided by q, then you can make use of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Okay, and then uh, means uh, assume that there is no common factor here. And then take the square, multiply here, okay. And then you will find that you will get an equation in integers. You can make use of fundamental theorem of arithmetic, okay. And you will find that oh, uh, in that situation, both the sides will be even. Uh, size this p will be even and q will be even, okay. Immediately you will come to know. Ah, but then uh, um, the, our assumption that uh, uh, there is that no prime factor is common. Okay, that kind of, kind of direction you will get. Okay. So root two, you cannot write, it's impossible to write root two as p by q. Okay. And it is impossible to it is impossible to indicate such type of a number, okay, whose length is from zero to that uh, is here. It is impossible to nomenclature and give the nomenclature to that point by a rational number. Okay, that is impossible. So, yeah, so that is the difficulty. Means we wanted to have some number which will be uh, something like uh, uh, x, x is there, and uh, x we wanted to find such so that x squared is equal to 2. Okay, and this, this uh, equation you can talk in terms of the equation and find that this equation doesn't have any solution in a rational number, it's impossible to have. That is the difficulty, and uh, um, that's a uh, complete hurdle is there. And how to overcome that? So we need to include those numbers also. Those are called irrational numbers. But how to pictureize that? You you can pictureize that. Uh, means uh, you, you can think just now uh, what what how these rationals were constructed by making use of the integers. Okay, with the help of integers, when divided by or 
pair, you may say, P Q pair. Okay. So uh, with the help of integers, you can <clears throat> you can try to capture the uh, meaning of this rational. Similarly, here with the help of rational numbers itself, you can try to capture the all all the numbers, and that's called the set of real numbers. Okay. So, how to think of this? So, what is the proper uh, proper way to look at uh, the set of rational numbers at the beginning? So, for the set of rational numbers. Uh, yeah, uh, real numbers, you can think of this. Of course, it should be an extension of Q. This machinery would like to explain, okay? So, to real numbers. Okay? Here we have certain machinery, addition, multiplication, division, subtraction, and so on, okay? So, algebraic operations are available here in Q. The, whenever you are restricting to Q, same thing, same kind of story should happen, isn't it? So, for this purpose, the, this basic idea, Okay, I mean, giving the nomenclature to each point. Okay, so that, uh, that is uh, we need to uh, like, uh, think of think of that, and that probably you may think of uh, this uh, rationals uh, as the set of pairs L and R. Okay, <laughs> okay. Here also, while well, you just imagine that you also from integers, you are considering pair of integers. Okay, now. Here, instead of considering the pair of integers, here you can think of pair of sets of rational numbers. Okay, so this L and L, L and uh, L, R, both are subsets of rational numbers. Okay. <clears throat> and you may say, in some sense, that uh, <clears throat> this gives you the partition of rational numbers. Okay. So you can think of, uh, yeah, uh, you can think of the partition of uh, rational numbers. Okay. So L and R. Okay. So uh, where, uh, since we are on the real line, one can think of which which is in the, uh, the smaller and which is larger. Okay. Something you can, what did you say? So these rational numbers every time will come to top. Okay, so what happens that uh, you consider such type of pairs where L and R are subsets of Q, okay, and uh, you may think of that uh, uh, it, 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 it will give you the partition of Q, L union R must be equal to the set of rational numbers, okay. Furthermore, this indicates the left hand side and this indicates the right hand side. Okay, so how did you say that? Okay, so uh, the, the condition is that every member of L must be less than or equal to every member of R. Okay, so you are partitioning uh, these uh, rational numbers into two parts L and R, two parts are there. Here, every member here is less than or equal to every member here. Okay. Every member here is to the left hand side of every member of this. So, every member here is the right hand side of every member. Okay. So, this is the situation. And one more, one more um, thing you uh, we will keep in mind that this R has no, R has no list element. List okay, so R has no list element. L may have largest element. Okay, so uh, or, or may not have largest element. So uh, because here you find that every member here is an upper bound. Every member here is lower bound. And uh, you know, put the restriction that R has no list element. If R is if somehow R has the uh, list element, then what you can do? Uh, you, you can transfer that element to L and just modify your pairs. Is this okay? So you can modify that pair and uh, maintain this property that uh, uh, L and R and partition and R has no list element and that's thing. And start to say that this is the dedicated cut. 
Okay, this is known as the dedekind cut. Okay, and uh, then start to say that this LRO is kind of partition. This uh, the, the, you start to say that is the real number. Okay, so so you can think of such type of uh, uh, pairs. These, these are called the dedekind cuts, and uh, um, it will be cut. Say that that's a real uh, that's a real number. Okay, now you will understand that if I have how the rational is it will be it will get extended no so you will come to know that in this situation mm -hmm. suppose that I may consider the set of all x such that uh, this x square is uh, less than two okay x square is less than two okay or, or you may say mm, yeah x square is uh, Greater than two. Okay, so uh, this set you may consider set of all x x belonging to uh, rational. So you can think of the rational numbers such that square is greater than two. Okay, this will give you a cut. Then you can cut. Okay, so this this set you may say that it is uh, uh, it is R. Okay, so greater than two. So this is R. Okay, and what is the L? L is equal to from the rational number you uh, a, a set theoretic complement of R. Okay, so the think of this. This will give the partition of Q. Okay, and uh, then that property that uh, uh, will get satisfied, and then you will find here in this case that. Uh, uh, yeah, this, this will indicate that, uh, and in fact, this will indicate uh, this cut will indicate precisely at that point. Okay, so you will find that this is uh, this cut R and L will be this, and then this will actually indicate the this. Okay, and you can also think of another set set of all x belonging to Q such that. This x is greater than two. Just simply, this is square. I'm just going to do this. This is your r. Okay. This is the right hand side r. Okay. And l is equal to set of rational numbers. And so you can think of l r in this fashion. Okay. Uh, this will also indicate some number. This will indicate root two. Right? Okay. This. And what this will indicate? What happens here? Uh, you have R and you have L. Okay, uh, whether R has a uh, uh, whether R has polished element? No, R doesn't have polished element because I am taking x square set of all x and that x square is strictly greater than two. Okay, so that's, R doesn't have. Similarly, here this R doesn't have polished element. Whether here L has the largest element, you will come to know that L doesn't have largest element. Okay, so that largest element will give me x square is equal to two. That will be the largest. Okay, so L L doesn't have the largest element. R doesn't have the smallest element. That's the basic requirement, and L doesn't have the largest element here. Okay. Actually, the largest elements of L, those are uh, in fact, uh, then afterwards you may start to think as those are real numbers. Whenever you are dead, can cut the largest. But in, here in rational, at least in, uh, here for this L doesn't have the uh, largest element, okay, as the rationals are concerned. And then the corresponding number you can characterize as irrational. And here in this situation, R doesn't have the smallest element. However, L has the largest element. And what is that largest element? Namely, 2. Okay. So, in Dedekind cuts, by our assumption, R doesn't have smallest element. L may have largest element, may not have largest element. L has largest element if and only if that corresponding uh, cut will then uh, correspond to rational. 
Okay, so dedek and cut will correspond to a rational number if and only if L has largest dependence. Okay, so that is the characterization. And uh, the uh, uh, irrational number is a particular number, particular such type of dedek and cut. If L doesn't have the largest Okay, so this is how you can think of uh, uh, the ring. So you can nomenclature, uh, use the nomenclature to the remaining point. That's that kind of uh, difficulty which we, uh, we which we have faced in case of rational numbers. Now it will get uh, provided. Okay, so if you include all such type of things, numbers on the real line, where is that cut precisely? To each cut, you will get the corresponding point. So you are fulfilling the gaps of uh, of the line. Okay, uh, all those points will get the coming nature with the help of such thinking. Okay, so this is how this very kind of cut. So we came towards the real numbers, and then uh, yeah, these are the set of real numbers. And what happens here that algebraically, if you think of, you will get the square root of two also. Okay, everything you will get. Okay, uh, cube root of three. And so, okay. so how this you will get the solutions, okay. which was not possible in case of rational numbers. Okay. Every time it was not possible, but here at least uh, for these numbers or for positive numbers, you can find out the roots. Many more things also you can think of in terms of the rational numbers. It's a huge gap was there. Okay. In fact, uh, though by our eyes it was impossible to see whether there, there is a gap or not as far as the uh, rational numbers are concerned, whether there is a gap or not by by our eyes it's impossible. Because between any, any two points in between point is there. Okay. However, um, uh, however, there were gaps and there were uncountably many gaps. Okay. This is some much time. Means rationals are countable. Okay. But the gaps were uncountable. Because under those are precisely uh, irrational numbers. And so this way you can think of this real number system. And then addition, multiplication, okay, suitably so you can define, okay, uh, uh, just taking into consideration, you can identify addition, multiplication. So that algebraic system you can extend from, uh, from this uh, rational to real numbers, and then you can think this uh, model of this. Okay? So you may say that you are, uh, you have certain zero is there, and what type of displacement is there, okay, whether it is in the positive direction or negative di direction. <coughs> so some sense is there, and that, uh, uh, that, that, that is possible every, uh, for any, whatever the distance you may have traveled. Okay, that you can measure with the heap of um, real numbers. Okay, so but that is on the real line. Okay, and now we came up to this. Okay, and everything, all the models you have extended, and now you can go towards the. You can think of you need to have to go something beyond this. Why to go beyond this? What is the need to go beyond real numbers? And see that while I was also learning about the complex numbers, no? sometimes it is uh, said that uh, some number is imaginary. Okay, And if some number is imaginary, what is uh, then it, 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 the natural feeling is coming in our mind is that then there is no practical use of uh, Imaginary number because it's imaginary. So keep in mind that nothing is imaginary. That number I is not at all imaginary. Okay. Remove that from your mind. Okay. It is very much practical. Okay. That we will now think of how it is really practical. The very basic difficulty is that whenever you are traveling, from one place to other place, you are allowed to travel in a straight line. Okay. But then, um, uh, then, uh, and if you stop somewhere, then just you are just thinking of this distance. And whether it is positive, maybe it is that will be 
sales and uh, this thing. But if uh, if my uh, Pune is here, here is the Pune, and then here you wanted to go to Kolhapur. Okay. But then I can go in between uh, somewhere here. Okay. Uh, yeah, some place, uh, uh, something like this, uh, where, is, where there is Sangli. Okay. And then this dish. Okay. And to uh, when when I reach to Sangli, how much distance have you traveled? Okay. So that is the difference. That you cannot indicate by any real method. Okay. So, uh, so that, that, that is very, uh, so this point it is very difficult. This, I, I came to Sangli. <laughs> How much distance I have traveled I'm, uh, as far as the Kolapur is concerned. Okay. So, that is the difficult. So, to indicate if my displacement is like this, I went to here. I haven't gone in this direction. I went to this direction and how much distance they have traveled. Okay. That, is, that is not possible for you to indicate. Okay. Yes, if you are traveling along a straight line, either in the forward direction or in the backward direction, okay. Then the corresponding real numbers, whatever the, the corresponding real number will indicate this. Okay, so that's what I. But if you are taking a, some some kind of uh, uh, other route, bypass route, okay, other route, then at a, a certain point, if you stop there and then you ask the question, no distance. So that you cannot. Indicate in terms of difference. And for this purpose, again, uh, we need to think of we. Uh, so this is a very very practical difficulty to indicate such type of uh, the distance. And um, yeah, that's why. Uh, okay, so uh, at which place? So uh, are you just think of this. Whenever you are traveling along a straight line, and then. You know, the displacement is a straight line, and I say that uh, um, I, uh, uh, I have traveled five kilometers. Right? So you uh, and five years budget okay? plus five. So definitely that point at which place you are, as this real line is concerned, at which place that particular particle or person is, that can be identified. Okay. But if you are traveling here to Stanley, and then um, then what can you say? Can you talk uh, come only in terms of uh, real numbers? No. Okay. So that is not possible to indicate in terms of real numbers. If you say something in terms of real numbers, then that means that you are just talking about the real thing. Very, very much restriction. You are traveling along the road. Okay. That is what this uh, this thing so displacements only on along a line that only you can think with the help of uh, real numbers and nothing more than that okay but in the plane if you start to think of uh, such type of uh, displacements okay and that's always possible in a practical line it's always possible and that kind of displacement if you uniquely identify that place then uh, then uh, really uh, these real numbers are not sufficient. You, we need to go beyond that. Okay, and keep in mind that because of that, we will think of this. Uh, uh, so you you pick up this, and uh, at the origin you take uh, some other line which is perpendicular to that. Okay, and then uh, you can look at this if you know it's uh, uh, it's x distance and it's y. Distance, okay, so that pair. So this pair x y. Where X and Y are real numbers. Okay, that is becoming a complex number. Okay, but wait, not here. Okay, so 
uh, yeah, so this is the set up on x y, just like uh, earlier pair. Then here also, it is a pair of integers, and in case of uh, real numbers, you saw what you can do. And in case of uh, uh, complex numbers, then you can think of this set of uh, So think of such type of pairs. <clears throat> and keep in mind that uh, here in this situation, uh, then uh, uh, you can think of uh, um, uh, algebraic system. Okay, so so algebraic systems also you can um, think. Of. Okay. So what is the algebraic system which you, you may consider? Okay, <clears throat> so uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, algebraic system. Here we have Q. You just this is this was the model. Now this model we are going beyond the model was of a light, okay, and the displacement of a particular on the straight line. Okay? You want we wanted to go beyond that, okay, and now instead of a line, you consider a plane, okay. And uh, such so a plane you consider, and then you can think of the movement of the particles. Okay, and you can also forget every time. So you, so you, on one day you have traveled this much distance. Okay, you are you are here, and then you say that oh, then afterwards I have traveled uh, six kilometers. Okay, so in that uh, the point of application is immaterial from here. Okay, so you can think of this, uh, and you can add that. Okay, so I because there is six kilometers, okay, and so on. So this real numbers you can think of this. Uh, and at means how much distance you have traveled, whether in the positive direction or negative direction, that's the important thing. Okay, from where yeah, that, that is not that much um, um, that that is uh, not important. Okay, so that, that's fine. So uh, this uh, on the real line you can think of this. Similarly, here. The point of application uh, means um, uh, so some particle is here, okay, and travels some, some distance, okay, and then travels some distance, okay, okay and so on. So, what is this, that corresponding displacement is to be indicated by some number, okay, and that is done by particles. Here also, in case of real line, you can keep in mind that think of the algebraic system addition. Uh, five, five kilometer distance, then six kilometer distance, you can add and the total distance you can think of. Okay. Similarly, you can think of uh, the, uh, similarly, we must be able to think of the addition of the displacement in the plane. One displacement, you can think of by such type of pair and other displacement. Uh, x dash y dash you can think of by some other uh, pair yeah. oh sorry yeah ask someone to vote yeah 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 ask someone to vote that's fine so uh, so the algebraically that system we wanted to make addition of displacement, multiplication of displacements. Okay, and once that is done, oh, then that will be real. Okay, so in case of this, you find that uh, if we have two displacements, then uh, uh, yeah, so and you can put uh, a point of application, you can fix up and then think of that. Okay. And uh, so, how to multiply? The addition, you can do pairwise, and that really speaking, yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's not important to get it. Okay. But you can think of multiplication, it's Y, okay. this pair. And for as far as the real numbers are concerned, you, uh, real numbers, this, this set is larger than that. How to think of that? You can think of uh, second component you take it zero. So this you will indicate the real number. Okay. But this multiplication must be equal to 
this multiplication must be equal to what? Oh, if my displacement is this, and then two times of that displacement, okay? So you are just magnifying it, and two times of that, okay? The same distance you are traveling. Yes, your direction is same, and then the corresponding whatever you may consider here the angle with the um, uh, x axis, okay? So that you can think of. So here you have magnitude is there, and direction is there, okay? And so uh, point of application you may simply forget about that, okay? But uh, that should be there. So this, if this is a real number, and suppose that for a while it is five times, okay? So this is a displacement. You think of from the origin, okay, that kind of displacement is there. Uh, it's why is there. And five times that means without changing any, but keeping the same direction, mm -hmm. magnitude should be five. Okay, and that we will get it if it, this is five. Then you will get it uh, something like five x and one. Okay. So this actually we want. Okay, I x into I y. So this multiplication should be like this. Okay. So you cannot think of, you cannot think of uh, say here a zero is there, xy is there. Uh -huh. For addition, component-wise addition was the easy. But here, if we take the component-wise multiplication and to uh, we wanted to fit it for the uh, uh, displacement of the particles. Then you will find that, oh, then this will be a into x and 0 into y. So this will be zero. And this will not be as far as the displacements are concerned. Okay. How you times something should be in, the, in this way. Okay. How you x into how you y. Practically also you can think of that. Okay. So same displacement, how you times. Okay. So then this should come into the picture. Uh, and not uh, the, this thing means uh, uh, this should not come. Okay. And to avoid means uh, that the, that's why in complex numbers the component wise multiplication is not taken into consideration because of this uh, this uh, displacement of the particle. Okay. So so uh, and uh, uh, whenever both are real numbers, this if this is zero, then then it's fine. That then it will actually match with whatever you are doing in case of real number. So this is the extended system from real numbers to complex numbers. In real numbers, we were allowed to just travel in one direction, either forward or back. However. Hello. Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You yeah, are audible. Right. Yeah, so uh, we are just uh, now, say, because of the uh, uh, shortage of time, uh, we may, I'm going to stop uh, here. Yeah. <clears throat> right. but the remaining things probably we may uh, discuss in some other lecture. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so let me just conclude here that for this purpose, we are defining the uh, our multiplication of complex numbers, as you know. Okay, so in in, in the okay, so and this number you can also denote it by r into one. Okay? And, and what is this i? Probably you may consider this i as zero one. Okay. I at zero one, you can think of this. Okay, 
जीरो पर मीन्स इन केस ऑफ हियर ये जिस डिस्प्लेसमेंट दिस आई विल इंडिकेट द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द पार्टिकल द वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन ओके सो हियर यू हैव सपोज वन इज देयर देन जीरो वन या दिस डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके दिस डिस्प्लेसमेंट विल बी इंडिकेटेड बाय द नंबर i ओके सो i kg i kg um, rise don't think of that now you consider this model and in this model i uh, uh, i i kilometer or but don't say kilometer also because here the direction is also included okay so i displacement what is the i displacement it is the displacement of a particle from a point in the vertical direction okay uh, uh yeah vertical direction and one distance okay so direction is indicated distance is indicated and this is what this this displacement is indicated by that okay and so very very practical as far as the plane is concerned you can think of one particular line and then you can locate all such type of displacements in the particle okay uh, displacements of the particles and so very much uh, useful and um, practically also you can think of that only we have to come out of our original uh, mathematical models beyond that we want we have to rise up and we can think of that and then these complex numbers are coming into the picture and then uh, uh, this model is used in physics and other other places also because of this reason okay uh fluid mechanics and to different places whenever you wanted to measure the uh, lo locate the position of the particles then uh, complex numbers are useful okay because there you can make use of algebra and do the other things so many things which were impossible in case of uh, uh, real numbers then now it will become uh, possible for example in real numbers you don't have a number which is x square is equal to minus There is no number x. This is impossible. Okay, so you cannot uh, find x square is minus one. But in complex numbers, yes, you can do that, and uh, <clears throat> that is becoming possible. Not only that, the interesting thing about this is that only you are just taking the help of the complex number r and the real and the real numbers. Only you have in your in your system you have added one more thing, namely r. and as soon as you are adding i what happens we got the solution for this polynomial in fact what is happening because of only this you will get the solution for any polynomial okay so you take any polynomial x is to n plus uh, some given x is to n minus one uh, you can reach up to this you take any polynomial non zero polynomial you will get a root in complex numbers okay everything you will get as far as this requirement is concerned only by taking a only by making a use of this okay and then a practical to sit the thing of the practically you can travel in any direction and then your yeah, the, the that locate that point will get located with the help of complex numbers okay so uh, the, this is what uh, Next number says, and this is the fundamental theorem of algebra. The most fundamental theorem of algebra. Okay, there are many more uh, impossibilities are there. With the help of mathematics, you can overcome those difficult difficulties. Many more things are there. Uh, we will discuss those in uh, different lectures because of uh, time. I would like to stop here. And once again, thank you to everybody for uh, giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much. thank you sir for this wonderful talk we are truly inspired and impressed by your super presentation thank you so much sir sharing your knowledge in a smart way now it's time to introduce our resource person dr k d kuche i request mrs p r huzre please come and introduce our resource person good afternoon i am professor priyanka hujre it's a great pleasure for me to introduce our speaker today who is going to talk to us about the 
careers in mathematics honorable guest dr k d kuches sir is working as assistant professor department of mathematics shivaji university kolhapur our speaker dr k d kuches sir has 70 year of teaching experience 30 years of the post graduate in shivaji university and 4 years of undergraduate in mit aurangabad his research interested are fractional differential equation abstract differential equation integral inequality he had he had guided two phd student and two students are working under his guidance he has completed one major project one major research project and one ugc minor research project he had been invited in one international 30 national and three state level conference seminar and workshop he has visited usa for seventh international conference on dynamic system of application such a great personality is here to guide us thank you sir thank you so much madam thank you sir now it's here the next intellectual talk by dr k d kuche i am delighted to call dr k d kuche and he is scholarly return speak dr k d kuche uh thank you very much uh, for the nice and for the introduction uh good afternoon uh, one and all uh first uh, i thank just a minute हेलो Oh, no, this screen visible? Ah, uh, yes, visible, sir. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Screen, your screen. Am I audible to you all? Ah, uh, yes, sir, audible. Hello. हेलो सर ऑडिबल हेलो हेलो ऑडिबल सर आल्सो विजिबल स्टार्ट सर एम आई ऑडिबल यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल प्लीज स्टार्ट सर अरे ये तो आवाज बोला बोला सर हेलो 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 सर यू आर ऑडिबल हेलो विजिबल हेलो हेलो ओके वन दिस मस आई हैव गॉट आई एम ऑडिबल नाउ आई स्टार्ट विथ माय टॉक ओके uh good morning uh good afternoon and all first i thank the organizing committee uh for giving uh, me the chance to talk in this national webinar the topic of my talk is career in mathematics uh the main aim of this talk is to aware the student with the, what are the higher studies in mathematics and what are the job opportunities Uh, i will start with the uh, quote of stephen banach uh, mathematics is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of human spirit uh, we know mathematics is old as uh, civilization is uh, civilization itself it encompasses uh, many topics 
therefore the term mathematics is a uh, very difficult to define but it is the word uh, came from greek uh, it meaning is that inclined to learn it is one of the most useful and fascinating branch of uh, human knowledge uh, it is challenging rewarding and uh, it gives fun while studying mathematics and uh, it is logical and creative Uh, we know that uh, we are using mathematics in everyday life uh, in hidden and uh, in direct ways uh, we know that whatever the smallest chip including in your computer mobile airplane body scanner whatever the software related we are doing or whatever the machine we are uh, uh, thinking of related to software that involve a uh, modeling okay and that's why it involve um, uh, very complex mathematics and to solve mathematics uh, we require expert um, particular uh, with particular that knowledge okay so mathematics is uh, mathematics is an essential tool uh, nearly for all scientific uh, fields whatever the research done by scientist whatever the uh, experiments have been performed by the researchers uh and uh, whatever the data is analyzed to express that finding in very precise like with mathematics is needed we have to do mathematical formulation okay and uh, we can communicate our scientific finding in the language of mathematics um, in precise language uh we know that uh, physical okay uh, we know that physical uh, science is such as astronomy chemistry physics these are very uh, heavily related to mathematics and really on mathematics social sciences economics psychology sociology these are also a subject which need uh, very good knowledge of mathematics to uh, perform their data analysis and uh, there is a one branch calculations okay or the modeling done by the person in economic that is known as econometricians okay uh, so they are uh, making economical model uh, using the mathematics what studies uh, what uh, think what abilities developed after uh, studying the mathematics that are uh, include your critical thinking problem solving ability uh, analytical thinking quantitative reasoning uh, it construct logical argument and expose illogical arguments and it involve uh, it also develop your communication skill because we know that whatever the findings we do in the research uh, to communicate that in precise language we are using mathematics in better way okay so what are the uh, courses academic courses we have to take up uh, to do careers in mathematics we know that after 12th standard we have to take a uh, bsc in mathematics which is regular 3 uh, years course uh, there is another uh, bsc honors okay that is a four year course and bsc actual sciences there we know that actual sciences is related to your insurance finance uh, companies and uh, in this uh, discipline mathematical uh, and statistical methods are applied uh, to assess risk in insurance finance and uh, Uh, other industries after graduation uh, to do the post graduation there are three opportunities one is msc mathematics one another is msc in applied mathematics and msc industrial mathematics with computer application in maharashtra in pune university and in our shivaji university these two courses uh, uh, are there industrial mathematics with computer application mis post graduate program uh, in this uh, discipline okay Uh, after 12th uh, to do a post graduate there is a integrated program also four year integrated program and five year integrated course okay that is we are calling integrated msc program uh, it is a four year bachelor of science uh, plus one year master of science program uh, such type of course is run in iscc bangalore uh, this uh, course is of four year for bachelor of science and one year for master of science program for study in mathematics okay now there is a uh, okay a oh, five year integrated program also there okay uh, uh, in mathematics which is a combination of two uh, graduate program that is bsc for three years and msc of two years these two programs are combined in five year program that is called msc integrated program 
and such type of program five year integrated program uh, is uh, available in iit miss indian institute of technology in iisc's uh, central universities uh, icer nicer uh, umde miss that is uh, the part of center for excellence in basic sciences mumbai under the department of uh, atomic energy university of mumbai uh, birla institute of science and birla institute of technology and sciences that is bits uh, bits and uh, amrita school of arts and science amrita pure uh, why it is necessary to take the higher studies in research you know that uh, current pace of advancement in technology needs strong, strong backup of mathematical genius i already explained that whatever the um, uh, advancement we are doing in technology whatever the advancement we are doing related to software okay uh, that need a, a strong background of mathematics okay that's why we have to pursue uh, research uh, uh, we have to pursue research in mathematics uh, ms in mathematics graduate uh, can opt for the higher study uh, to pursue their uh, career also and to boost their career also this will student this will help the student to work in more reputed job profile that is the uh, individual benefit for the student okay and uh, with more student taking a job uh, as a teacher okay so there is a cutthroat competition okay so apart from traditional education we have some specific thing we uh, we have some we must have some additional thing with us okay therefore uh, to prove our speciality uh, to prove uh, our quality we have to do a uh, uh, and in addition something which is from our tra traditional degree that is expected okay and in private sector uh, if you are going for the jobs in private uh, sectors your remuneration is depend upon your knowledge and experience and what the research you have done okay so the most uh, common higher studies uh, that is related to mathematics are uh, master of philosophy program and uh, doctor of philosophy uh, program okay so that is we are calling phd so research degree that are related to mphil and phd so first we'll discuss mphil it is available in almost all university indian universities it is full time program of uh, having span minimum one year and maximum of two year uh, phd degree is available in almost all university it is available in all universities uh, state universities as well as in central universities research centers are affiliated to universities and various institutes such as uh, which i have already mentioned iits nits iisers nicers okay uh, so in such institution a uh, phd program is also available uh, it is full time course uh, having span of uh, minimum 3 years and maximum of 6 years there is also program uh, that is integrated msc phd program okay if miss we are getting to uh, uh, admission to msc integrated msc phd integrated program uh, miss uh, 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 after getting admission for this uh, there is no need to give additional entrance and all that to be to get the admission for phd so if you are getting admission for msc under this msc phd integrated program automatically we are getting admission for phd also and such type of msc phd integrated program is available at iits iisers uh, tifr and few universities okay so these are the list which i have specified here uh, that are related with what you are uh, how to hide this okay uh, that are uh, related with your uh, higher learnings okay so that is your tif for miss tata institute of fundamental research institute of mathematical sciences harish chandra research institute indian statistical institute indian institute of technology indian institute of sciences that is indian institute of science education and research that is nicer cmi isro uh, this isro uh, has is research center studies at uh, tiru vananthapuram and uh, all universities central universities as well as your state universities are there uh, which are providing uh, phd program Uh, to how to get the admission in this program so to get admission at iits for the msc program uh, there is a joint admission test uh, that is called your jam okay admission to the phd program is based on written test and followed uh, and it is followed by your uh, interviews uh, to get the admission in tfir that is uh, through your written test and uh, again uh, interviews there okay uh, the institute of mathematical science at chennai there is admission through nphm examination followed by interview to get the admission in uh, research, harish chandra research institute allahabad admission through test followed by interview and uh, an integrated program msc program offered by uh, these uh, uh, 
uh, what is that your pune mohali okay uh, kolkata tiruvandaram bhopal and uh, also at uh, uh, there is an iser at bhubneshwar now iser admits the students via iitg that is your advanced entrance uh, test or the that is KVP by Kishu Vigyanik Professor Nirjana and through the board exam and performance. The NISR admits students through the national entrance screening test. Uh, student can also opt for integrated MSc in mathematics offered by various central universities, which admits the student through written test. Uh, generally, central universities are containing their uh, in, uh, in, conduct their interest examination in early June. Uh, these are the broad uh, specialization which I have mentioned here in which we can pursue a research that is algebra, geometry, biomathematics, complex dynamics, uh, combinatorics, uh, mathematical logic, differential equation, fluid mechanics, computational fluid dynamics, image processing, probability and statistics, and dynamic risk system. These are some, uh, there are other also specified uh, specific areas in which we can perform a research. But uh, to do a research degree, and uh, surely we need a scholarship for funding uh, or funding we need okay, uh, to take the care of our stay and tuition expenses. So there are scholarship as well as fellowship are there uh, to pursue um, your higher education. Okay, So I am mentioning here a few important scholarship as well as some fellowship I will explain later. Okay, So NBHM uh, providing the scholarship for master degree also and fellowship for PhD degree also. Okay, so website is uh, given here. Just if you are able, googling it uh, on the website NBHM uh, scholarship and fellowship under uh, scholarship and fellowship, you will get uh, uh, the information related to scholarship as well as fellowship on the NBHM website. Similarly, CSIR is providing the research fellowship. Kishore Vigyani Prasan is nice there. Okay, and some institutes are also providing stipend uh, to the undergrad undergraduate program also as well as pro postgraduate program also uh, depending upon the uh, careers or uh, depending upon the performance of the student. Uh, there is a ch chance to get the research fellowship uh, for PhD uh, through NET JRF. We know that uh, NET examination is conducted for your lectureship also and for JRF also. Those students who get qualified in NET JRF, they are, they are eligible uh, if they are getting admission to PhD program. Uh, they are getting a fellowship uh, near about for five years. Firstly, three years, uh, they are getting uh, 31,000 plus uh, house rate allowance, Ms. HRA, okay, and then 35,000 plus house rate allowance. Similarly, there is a fellowship by NBHM also, but there is an examination for that. You have to qualify that examination, okay. And uh, after get, qualifying that examination, you are eligible for uh, getting the fellowship or PAD also, and there is a scholarship for MSc also, but you have to qualify the examination of National Board of Higher Mathematics. Uh, INSPIRE fellowship uh, program is there, okay. Uh, those students uh, who is a university rank holder or those students already having inspired fellowship uh, scholarship at their graduate level, they can continue their inspired fellowship for uh, postgraduate also, as well as for doing PhD also. But what is the requirement? Uh, minimum 65% is there and you should be the inspired uh, holder uh, at MSc to enjoy the fellowship at uh, what is that you are uh, for PhD. Okay, uh, we have to apply for the inspired fellowship. Again, you are that inspired fellowship you are getting for the five years, three years, and in two years, what? Three years, you are getting 31,000 plus HRA, and uh, for uh, your um, last two years, you are getting uh, 35,000 plus HRA. Okay, so very big amount you are getting in the form of fellowship for this PhD program, provided you must be able to satisfy the eligibility criteria. Okay, so what are the opportunities? Now, second part, we will move, what are the career opportunities in mathematics? So you have the opportunity, the student who are doing qualification, a good, uh, uh, with good knowledge in mathematics uh, and having a good research base, uh, they have opportunities as a mathematician, numerical analyst, teacher, actuary, uh, as a computer programmer, computer programmer, surely uh, this is the, uh, um, a job that is related with your um, related for the person having good knowledge of mathematics with best uh, knowledge of your uh, computer. Uh, such degree is available in our university also. That is your uh, MSc Tech. 
uh, it comprises of 50% of mathematics subject and 50% of computer subject okay such type of students are uh, have the chance to get the job as the computer programmer programmer okay investment manager that is the job opportunity again government research and laboratories are there in which uh, these are the firms where we can find out the job opportunity market researcher system analysis banking sector is there space aircraft industry insurance companies it firms is there econometrician we can use uh, work as econometrician also but mathematics student have uh, completed some diploma or uh, uh, some pg type diploma in economics okay uh, enumerators and uh, accountancy is there okay so these are the industries uh, where msc mathematics graduates are required okay uh, means that is your banking sectors insurance companies research and development firms manufacturing firms economic research firms industry statistical services market research firms business organization and railways again different academy is there there is also chance to get uh, jobs for the um, student having graduate or post graduate in mathematics it firms aerospace companies pharmaceutical companies social research institute planning commission indian navy okay the popular government firm in which we can find out the uh, job related to mathematics that is your drdo miss defense research and development organization indian space research organization the institute of mathematical sciences nal uh, agriculture statistic research institute uh, national council for applied economics research and these are the uh, list which i have given here which are the government uh, firms in which uh, the mathematics student has the job opportunity of course this organization need mathematician to solve their sophisticated mathematical problem related to their research, res respective research area so whatever uh, uh, respective research area is there for that uh, particular firms uh, such type of I mean, if you are having the speciality uh, in that uh, we can go for uh, finding the job in this government firm okay so these are the private uh, sectors uh, in which uh, the student of mathematics have job opportunity that is bajaj alliance general insurance hdf standard life insurance federal bank south indian bank hdfc bank icic bank infosys wipro tcs and ibs uh i am happy to share you that uh, every year almost every year two to three students are already get, getting selected from our department of mathematics in tcs okay every year tcs is conducting campus uh, uh, program uh, at shivaji university kolhapur and uh, near about uh, in last year also one student got selected in this tcs program uh, it companies okay so they need a, a mathematician to work in their research development and we know that already have explained that with every little thing having comprised chip inside uh, the complex cities involved in the calculation uh, to design these things and uh, expert mathematician is needed uh, required to solve these uh, complex programs okay so banking and insurance sector is also there where we can find out the job okay so banking and insurance companies need the mathematician who combine maths and stats to come up with the vagus's financial model okay that is related with your loans and investment and uh, only skilled mathematician able to calculate the reasoning behind uh, the failures uh, of any financial model or uh, success of any financial model okay so having uh, mathematics mathematics person can, can think critically uh, having best knowledge of mathematics so such people are always have demand in uh, banks and insurance uh, biotechnology field is again uh, arising which requires good uh, person from mathematics having biology knowledge okay uh, in uh, this uh, pandemic situation we can find out near about hundreds of paper related uh, related to mathematics which have done study related to the corona virus recently uh, iit kharagpur has developed a, a prediction graph okay and they have give, developed a, that prediction graph uh, uh, doing some data analysis okay so mathematical model they have developed to predict what will be the situation in uh, june what will be the situation is in uh, january of uh, corona uh, pandemic uh, corona virus covid 19 in india and uh, if you go to the website and google it you will find out that whatever they have the prediction they have done what is the graph they have specified almost that uh, situation is going comparably uh, of for india okay so 
whatever the prediction they have done is approximately uh, correct uh, to the uh, current situation uh, that field is okay so the biology and the mathematics okay so studying the biological models uh, using the mathematics that new field is arising that is called your biomathematics or biological uh, mathematical biology okay so there is also a, a, a opportunity for the mathematics student okay so the most important opportunities uh, in students they are find uh, finding easily to achieve that that is your teaching field okay so because of that there is a very recent uh, decent salary at the entry level for the lecturership also as well as for the assistant professorship also okay and uh, now it is number of institutions are arising okay we can see that in maharashtra every uh, district has number of engineering college okay so number of engineering college and number of diploma engineering colleges are there okay and uh, there is very um, demand of uh, teachers uh, of mathematics okay so very uh, we can observe that there is a lack, lack of supply uh, for the teachers uh, for the surging demand of uh, mathematics teacher okay and uh, when we are going for uh, um, the opportunities of mathematics where the specialist is needed okay so there is always vacant positions uh, than the number of student passing every year okay so uh, we have vacant jobs for the specialist i am underlining on specialist in the institution more than the number of students have passing out every year uh, these are the following fields uh, where uh, uh, the great job opportunities we can find that is your uh, teaching job teaching job related teaching related job i am speaking that is related that is dst iits iisis universities all state universities and central universities okay apart from uh, these institution uh, there is a uh, opportunity for mathematics uh, student for the teaching job in government colleges aided colleges reputed private colleges and universities okay teaching job uh, these are the jobs uh, uh, related to teaching that is assistant professor at university institute graduate and post graduate colleges lecturer at junior colleges teacher at school okay Uh, we know that for assistant professor we have to do ms in mathematics and uh, additional we require uh, yeah, to we require to qualify an eight examination or set examination or we have to uh, complete the phd okay so you know that the national eligibility test is conducted uh, uh, in every in in a year every june uh, june and december of every year okay Uh, that is of 200 marks it is conducted for uh, fellowship also as well as for the eligibility of lecturership also okay so you can find out the detail uh, on the csr ugc examination related to their examination pattern and all that so i will not go for that uh, there is a state eligibility test is also okay which is the uh, required uh, for uh, that is the qualification required for uh, to appointment in university in uh, Uh, in university and college okay so this examination is uh, only for the eligibility of uh, to get uh, selected as a assistant professor in universities and colleges uh, but not for the jrf okay state uh, pune university as a state agency conducting this state examination for uh, uh, state of maharashtra as well as state of goa for uh, lecturership uh, we require uh, post graduate with bed okay uh, for te te teacher uh, at the school level Uh, we require uh, graduate in mathematics with uh, bed okay again temporary jobs are available at engineering and diploma colleges for non net set candidate banking and finance sector uh, various posts are there of manager assistant uh, probability uh, probationary officer and these posts are filled through that ibps examination institute of banking personal selection exam in government banks okay and private banks are conducting their own examination uh, to fill such post manager assistant probationary officer for the bank like hdfc icii mate life and bajaj alliance okay and uh, you can see the advertisement on their concern website mm, there is a chance uh, for the mathematics student uh, to uh, to make a career as an income tax officer also this examination is uh, uh, conducted by ssc cgl miss combined graduate level examination that is conducted by staff selection commission and uh, apart from your english uh, general awareness and general intelligence reasoning mathematics knowledge is required here uh, there is a chance in software industries also like oracle microsoft google infosys wipro tcs but uh, of course basic computer knowledge 
uh, with fluent English is uh, essential here, apart from your mathematics knowledge. Okay. Uh, competitive examination like uh, UPSC, MPSC, uh, we can uh, opt for mathematics student opt for this uh, competitive examination also, and mathematics okay, student uh, find this examination easier than other subjects. So this is observation. Uh, these are the few websites which I have mentioned Hello, in which we can find out the job opportunities. So this is daily newspaper, employment news, website, this is www.nobri.com, sarkariexam.co.in, careerfinder.com, and freejoballer.com. Okay. So there is a, uh, a website of Maharashtra government also, www.maharashtra.goro.in, where the uh, Hello, sir. Hello, you can sir. Find. Okay, and you can register yourself on this uh, www.maharozgar.government.in. Okay, so thank you. Uh, if uh, someone want to discuss or if you have any question, uh, I will be happy to give the answer. Thank you. Friend. Friends, without mathematics. Hello. Hello. May, may I audible? Hello, Jado, sir. You, uh, you, I think your sound is muted. May I audible? We are not able to hear you. May I yes, sir. Friends, without the mathematics, there is nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is number. Mathematics is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of human spirit. Dear sir, thank you so much for your nice and heartly talk. I am sure your speech will increase the love for maths among the students. Now, now I request Principal Dr. R. K. Shani Diwan sir to give his presidential address. Now, I request Principal Dr. R. K. Shani Diwan sir to give his presidential address. Hello, sir. Hello, you want, sir? Are you there? Hello, principal. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Patil, sir. Patil, sir. We are unable to listen you, sir. हाँ बोला मैडम हेलो पाटिल सर वी आर अनेबल टू लिसन यू सर हेलो हेलो दिवान सर हेलो हेलो हाँ सर हाँ बोला कि हेलो नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर आर के शानिव दिवान सर to give his presidential address. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, I request principal 
Dr. R. K. Shani Devan sir to give his presidential address. Namaskar. Aplaya Mahavidyalaya Nishtri Vibhachavatina. आज राष्ट्रीय विभिन्नत से आयोजन करने आत आलिला है। यह राष्ट्रीय विभिन्नत चंद वित्तन गणिशास्त्र विषय ची अनित्य विषय चा अनुशंगन अस्नारे एप्लिकेशन चा संदर्भ में थे एक व्यापक स्वरूप ची चर्चा भावी अनेक विद्यार्थियना तथा संदर्भ तिल माहिती मिला भी यह हितु ने अच्छा हाय विभिन्न मला सर्वप्रथम या गोष्टीची जाणीव आहे की या वेबिनारच्या निमित्तानं अगदी सुरुवातीच्या टप्प्यामध्ये मी सहभागी झालो आणि त्यानंतर काही दैनंदिन कामकाजामुळे मला पूर्ण वेळ या वेबिनारला सहभागी होता आलं नाही असं असलं तरी सुद्धा आपल्या गणितशास्त्र विभागाचे पाटील सर हुजरे मॅडम यांनी चांगल्या पद्धतीनं या वेबिनारचं आयोजन जे आहे ते वेबिनारचं आयोजन केलं मी आधीमध्ये जेव्हा ह्या सगळा अनुभव घेत होतो त्यावेळी या वेबिनारचे दोन्ही व्याख्याते जे आहेत त्या व्याख्याने अतिशय मनपूर्वक ही सर्व मांडणी जी आहे ती मांडणी विद्यार्थ्यांच्या समोर केलेली आहे मला निश्चितपणे आनंद आहे या गोष्टीचा की कोरोनाच्या कालावधीत देखील अशा पद्धतीचा उपक्रम हा उपक्रम आपल्या महाविद्यालयामध्ये संपन्न झाला आणखी एका गोष्टीची फक्त व्याख्या त्यांना माहिती देण्याच्या हेतून मी सांगत आहे की जवळजवळ एक महिना झाला आमच्या महाविद्यालयामध्ये वेगवेगळ्या विषयाचे वेबिनार होत आहेत आणि आज हा झालेला जो वेबिनार आहे तो जवळजवळ सतरावा वेबिनार राष्ट्रीय वेबिनार या ठिकाणी होतो आहे आणि या दरम्यानच्या कालावधीमध्ये दोन इंटरनॅशनल वेबिनार सुद्धा आम्ही या ठिकाणी आयोजित केलं आपण या वेबिनारसाठी आपला मौलिक वेळ दिला आणि विद्यार्थ्यांना मार्गदर्शन केलं त्याबद्दल आणि त्याचबरोबर या संपूर्ण वेबिनारचं आयोजन केलेले आमचे पाटील सर असतील हुजरे मॅडम असतील आणि ही संपूर्ण जबाबदारी तांत्रिक पद्धतीने सांभाळणारे कुंदीकर सर असतील उल्पे सर असतील गणेश पाटील यांचं मनपूर्वक या ठिकाणी अभिनंदन करतो आणि मी थांबतो जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र थँक्यू सो मच सर फॉर युअर सपोर्ट अँड मोटिवेटेड वर्ड नाव वी आर इन द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ दिस वेबिनार अँड दॅट इज वोट ऑफ थँक्स आय टेक दिस ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी टू कॉल मिस ए सय्यद टू प्रपोज ए वॉट ऑफ थँक्स Good afternoon to one and all present here. My dear friends, I am Professor Ms. Afsana Sayyad and it's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. So first of all, on behalf of Shri Shahu Chhatrapati Shikshan Samustas, Shri Shahaji Chhatrapati Mahavidyalaya and Department of Mathematics, I would like to propose a vote of thanks to our chief case keynote speaker, Dr. B. N. Wafare Sir for gracing today's webinar. Dear Sir, thank you very much for making an excellent presentation and making this seminar interesting and meaningful. I am also thankful to our speaker, Dr. K. D. Kuche, sir, who gave a speech on career in mathematics. I am, uh, sir, thank you very much. Sir, I am sure this talk will surely be going to encourage us in our stat-related field. Uh, sorry, maths, mathematics-related field. I also wish to wish to express my gratitude to our guiding force, our beloved principal, Dr. R. K. Shani Divan, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I would like to extend a special thanks to IQC coordinator, Dr. N. S. Zadho, sir, for his un untiring effort to make this webinar a great success. I am very much grateful to Honorable Secretary, Shri Vijay Rao Bondre, sir, and Chairman, Shri Mansing Rao Bondre, for giving us an opportunity to organize this event. I would like to express our profound gratitude to our registrar Shri Ravindra Bhosle and Office Superintendent Shri Manish Bhosle for their guidance and support in this webinar. As no program can become successful with a per single person, so I extend my big thank to Mr. Ganesh Patil, sir, for his technical support. I would like to thank all teaching and non-teaching staff of our college. Finally, I would like to record my sincere thanks 
to wonderful audience, all the delegated who blessed us with their presence and took out the valuable time of your busy schedule. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, all of you, for your cooperation. With this, I declare the webinar is over. Thank you. Hello, feedback link will be sent on this same WhatsApp group. Please fill up the feedback form. Please fill up the feedback form. All the particip participants, I request you, fill up the feedback form. Thank you. Thank you.